me in the court again. Can't talk, Mackenzie friend. It's me in the court again. Can't talk, Mackenzie friend. Mackenzie friend. Hi, buddy. Oh, I get that. You alright? Uh, no, not really, no thanks, mate, we've got time. Okay, mate. I'll get my jacket then. Ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Um, like Wednesday, probably coming in. And cut! The world is a vampire. Hi everyone. Hello to everyone out there um, in the public. My name's Brian Harvey and uh, I used to be the lead singer for the pop group E17. He wants me killed. Now the disturbing thing is, is that a couple of years ago, possibly a little bit longer, um, I I approached a guy called Bill Maloney, who I thought was an anti-child abuse activist. Well, it turns out that he's not. He must be a paid agent for the government that goes in and destroys the stories of genuine victims. And the victim that he took me to go and see, because I was going to be filming him, I offered Pie and Mash Films, Bill Maloney's film company, I offered to do a bit of filming for him. He took me up on it. In the end, I think, I'm going to contact this guy, because he's running around with a camcorder, and uh, I've got three Canon 5D Mark IIs, and I can set him up a lovely setup when he films his, when he, when he films his victims and stuff, because, you know, you, this is... This is real stuff I, I was believing and and uh, and this needs to be done in a really good quality way instead of just on a camcorder. Um, so I contacted him and I also told him that when I lived in Wolverhampton, in another part of Wolverhampton before I'm in the house that I'm in now, um, I think that one of Sydney Cook's gang uh, was living next door to me. Right. Because I bumped, I bumped into one of my neighbours from from that little Is close. That Jason, Jason Swift. Jason uh, Swift. Yeah, yeah. Jason, the murder of Jason Swift. That there was a low flying kestrel, and you know, you're a kid. I didn't know what a paedophile was. You know, I had no idea, no idea whatsoever. And um, and I thought of this after I spoke to this woman, Beverly, and she said, "Yeah, we moved from there because of that thing that was living next door to you." And I remember saying to her, yeah, what what was his name? Was his name Rick or something? And she goes, I can't remember his name, but he was saying to do with the killing of that Jason Swift. So when I got home, I Googled it, and I thought, oh, mate, I've had one of Sidney Cook's gang living next door to me and didn't know it. This geezer was taking pictures when I was younger and that. There was a few of us little kids there. And um, so obviously, when, when I've gone to contact Bill Maloney, I've put this in the email, and I think this may be one of the things that tipped it over the edge, and he contacted me straight back. So obviously, when, when I've gone to contact Bill Maloney, I've put this in the email, and I think this may be one of the things that tipped it over the edge, and he contacted me straight back. I was 11. <laughs> 11? <laughs> what were you doing at 11? Uh, I got Wait, called for it as well. Did I had you? to go to the police station and all that. <laughs> so, um... Well, you guys are going to hang around with us. Sort of, uh, Did you uh, go to school with any 17 fans, Anna? I went to school with all of them. Yeah. Not no, with any fans of the fans. Did you uh, go to school with any 17 fans, Anna? I went to school with all of them. Yeah. Not no, with any fans of the fans. We've now and just left. <sighs> There's one man out there that can help me. You know who you are. I'm not against you. I'm really not. And, and, and this is the thing now that's, that's getting in the way. You know, like, Eddie is okay, and Red Pill Phil, regardless of what, you know, some of these people, and it's, it's the majority of people saying wicked interviews, you know what I mean? But there's some people out there, and that are, they're more than likely trolls, but they're having a pop and that. And it's like, look, we ain't going to get anywhere if we keep having a go at the people that are 
helping get the truth out. And they have helped me, you know, regardless of, of you know, where they've come from or what who you think they should be supporting. And all I know is for me, both of them two men have helped me. You know, they have. And um, they're both two nice, genuine, calm people in, in my book. You know, I've been watching some videos and, and some bits by a guy called Guidance 2222. And I don't know what his problem is. I mean, look, mate, if you're watching, like, you're entitled to your opinion, isn't it? But, um, you know, if I thought either of them were dodgy, or if I thought what I was saying was dodgy, then I wouldn't be putting myself in this position, mate. You know, and I just, I ask you, just be reasonable. You know what I mean? Just be reasonable because I ain't going to get into a shouting match with you and, and, and start fucking getting online and slagging you off. You're, you're perfectly entitled to make videos and, and, and put together what, what you want to put together. You know what I mean? But do you think this is fair what these people are doing to me? And I know you're aware. And I need your help. And I need the public's help. Because these people are going to kill me and try and make it look like an accident. And I just want the public to know that I would never do that to myself, ever. I wouldn't. I know I've said it before in the past, but I learnt my lesson when I went under my car. I would not, even that, I was drugged. I had a drink before I went down the road. Right, I'll be honest with you, I was going to buy a ten pound draw off of a friend. And when I think back now, when I was reversing in the car when I actually had the accident, I remember feeling a bit funny. And I just thought Oh just bear that in mind guys. That it was me, but I was sick. I was drugged. That's how I had the accident. I know it sounds like madness. But please, you've got to believe me. There are four or five people out there that are holding my information for me. And uh, they will release it if something happens to me. I'm not lying. I'm not mad. I completely understand how this looks and sounds. And I'm trying to get everything into a five, ten minute video. It's me in the court again Can't talk Mackenzie friend I've got a security camera on the front of the house I'm constantly sitting there watching it They're doing all sorts of things Because they know that I'm watching To see the people for what they are Yeah The people that are nefarious That are against the system Excuse me I see you I see you I know what it sounds like. I sound completely mad. But I promise you I'm not. A mad person doesn't get as far as they got in this world. And I've done all right. Number one records. You know, you can't be mad and be up there on stage and sing in front of a million people. You can't. Yeah, what's it regarding, mate? Hi, Mr. Harvey. Mate, I'd better speak to you. Just inside, how are you doing mate, you alright? I can see you properly. How are you doing, you alright? Not really, nah. What's the matter? Basically, we just need to speak to you very quickly. It, uh, would, be, it would be better to do it inside. No, no, you're not coming in my house again, mate. I had all that last It'd time. No, got... no problems here. No, no, go, why, why don't you just tell me what you want from here? Please, then. Okay. I mean, we, we'd like you to sign something as well. Uh, what is it? I could, oh, we'll read it to we'll you, read and then to you. You, can, you can decide whether to sign it or not. I come closer because it might be a bit easier. No, you're all right, mate. Stay, no, stay where you are. Sorry, no, mate, stay where you are. Sorry, stay where you are. It's right, it's right. No, it's, it's not all right. I'm in fear for my life from the police, yeah? Because right, the police ain't acted right on the phone tapping evidence, so... so right, we're not going to do phone tapping. We're just going to read you this letter, OK? OK. Mr Brian Harvey. Oh, it's still, I, don't, I don't really want to do it here, to be honest. Closer, I don't really want to speak to. I don't want to speak no, to. No, go on. What is it? What is it about? So it's called a threat to life warning notice. A what? Threat to life warning notice. What's that? Basically, so I'm going to read it out to you and just make sure you, you understand it. All right. 
Oh, he saw what notice? A threat to life, warning notice. Mine? Yeah. yeah. Right. So we'll read it to you. A threat to my life. That's, that's why we'd like, rather speak to you in person. No, you know, no, in, I can't. I'm sorry, side. mate. I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, I know my life's in danger. Okay. So, I'll read it out to you. Is it right if it just comes to the bottom? No, mate. You read it. No, no. You stay there and read it from there. Brian Harvey, I received the following information which suggests that your personal safety is now in danger. Right. I stress that I will uh, not under any circumstances discuss. I've got a mood disorder and it's bipolar and I jump between moods and what these people are doing to me right now, they know my condition and they are trying to push me over the edge and if someone out there can help me, anyone, get my information out now, if not I'm going to be dead. Hi everyone, Brian Arvier, and uh, this is just a quick video just to let you know that um, I will be doing a new video soon, a dot connecting video, where I'm going to literally show you how every single person that we've got on here, uh, all of these photos of various different people, how each and every one of them come into my own personal story. Now, obviously I've done a lot of videos where um, I've been just calling out loads of different names and some people are saying what well, don't get it like who's this person who's that person so I think the best way for me to do this is to break it down and show you who individually each of these people are so I'll be giving you a little bit of background on each person on this on this board um, there are more names to go on the board there's probably about another eight photos, but as you can see, the people that are involved so far, um, it's taken up over half the board already. And this is a six foot by four foot board. So um, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people. And uh, it's a very complex, intertwined story, as most of you have already worked out. So uh, like I say, this was just a quick, short video just to let you know that coming up soon, I will be doing this. I probably won't do it live. I'll probably want to pre-record it. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of people there. You know, Tom Watkins, Rupert Murdoch, Glenn Mulcow, John Wedger, Bill Maloney, Andrew Ash, Peter Jukes, Andy Coulson. You know, Robert Kellaway. I need to give you the background on these people so you can see how they fit into the story. But uh, I will be doing that soon. So this was with regards to me reporting uh, Mr. Puddick first, which I've proved to him. So apparently he was going to have some kind of a panel meeting with the CPS um, and let me know because apparently he was going to have some kind of a panel meeting with the CPS um, and let me know because this uh, Daniel Gleave apparently is going to be impartial, which I hope he is, and I hope that he does the right thing, because, to be honest with you, I shouldn't even be going to court, because, to be honest with you, I shouldn't even be going to court on the 24th. This man should be, and this man. So, uh, yeah, quick video, let you know that this is coming soon and I look forward to doing it for you. Listen, people, Eddie is okay. Hey, 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 Eddie is okay. Peace and blessings, my brothers and my sisters in humanity. Listen, oh, man. I said to you when I done the last video concerning Tommy and, um, you know, his, um, his movement, etc., that um, I may do another video, you know, his, um, his movement, etc., that um, I may do another video. So this is, um, I'm going to name this video, Things May Not Seem The Way They Are. No information from one person, and I thought, no, this person was coming out, I think he surely know. Certain people wouldn't go and say that, 
that he's been taken and this is going to happen to him and that's going to happen to him and put it online on Alex Jones show etc but you know what I don't trust no one you didn't tell me I'll call it out I ain't got time for the BS I told you already you know what I mean I ain't licking up to no man I ain't licking up to no man at all right I'm just dealing it as it is something stinks right and, but what really stinks is these little kids they've got as his manager what are you doing with these little kids as your manager brother up to now something ain't right I know it something ain't right right but this story right I'm convinced is BS I've been listening to a few people, right? And other people are seeing through certain things as well, right? It's only because I've been busy, right? And certain people are just dealing with me um, via Twitter, you know what I mean, phone calls and all that. I ain't even had time to even look up one video, right? But certain people are showing me saying, listen, you know what? I think there's some BS. There's some BS in the atmosphere. Listen, let me tell you something. Before you start rolling down any prison, before you start rolling down to Whitehall, right? Know the person you're getting this information from is reliable. And do a background check on that person. Right? Because there's a lot of schisms going around that with a certain person. So Lucy's gone. And there's plenty more snakes in the grass still. It seems to be in that organisation. In the court again. Can't talk, Mackenzie friend. They're not expecting to come online, are they? And um, maybe if we could just quickly go on to that. Now, that was um, Sabine, apparently, that made them videos um, available online, she reckons, but she didn't publish them. Well, <clears> I mean, <throat> she did publish it. Okay. We're talking back in December. Because remember, right. uh, we believe that uh, these videos were published, um, for, for, for a long time we believed that it was, uh, these videos were published in February. I thought it was published on the 10th. Right. And um, on the 11th, I had a meeting uh, with Mackenzie friends. Yeah. Do you want to explain? Okay, Sabine and Belinda are members of an organization known as Mackenzie Friends. It's me in the court again. Can't talk, Mackenzie friend. Um, they would describe themselves as an lay legal advisor. And um, <clears throat> often mothers find themselves um, oh, with with the with the Mackenzie friends as a, as a last resort. Cool. In right, uh, Vicky Hague's um, case, there's rumours going around that the yeah. Mackenzie friends uh, are working with known pedophiles, and uh, really they're not there to help. Um, they're just there to to sabotage gather the cases. information or. Um, to well, store things or... There are lots of rumours, there are lots of rumours, guys. There a lot of rumours about uh, Vicky Hague's um, case. There's rumours going around that the yeah. Mackenzie friends uh, are working with known paedophiles and uh, really they're not there to help. Um, they're just there to... To sabotage the cases. ...gather information or um, to well, store things or... There are lots of rumours, there are lots of rumours, guys. A lot of rumours about... Uh, uh, we only can comment on what we experienced. Yeah. And what we know, and now we're talking of, of, with other mothers, and we learned okay. that it, it happened before, they do this kind of things before. Yeah, uh, without, without, with, without mother's consent. Yeah, doing, that's no good, is it? It's not very yes, precious, and, is it? And it, so what happened, in, she, she published this Google Drive in December, so some people already watched it and already commented on um, uh, Ike's uh, David, David Ike, uh, Ike's um, forum. David Ike's forum. Yeah. yeah. And another um, very important uh, information that we would like to put out to the people is that um, what do you say? Okay. We'd like now to make public our disassociation from the Association of Mackenzie Friends. It's me in the court again. Can't talk Mackenzie Friends. We haven't contacted them for five months now. We hoped in vain that they would um, step down from the case, but they seem determined to 
keep, um, keep, uh, keep imposing themselves and keep uh, uh, placing themselves in the eyes of public in the eye of public as um, uh, supporters and uh, they representatives for the children. Like. But they have nothing to do, neither with uh, Alice and Gabriel, nor with us, with me, Elon and um, Abraham. They have been caught out doing this. And um, the reason they, they are not um, prosecuted for this, we feel, is because they are linked to the government, to the cult, via Belinda McKenzie directly, who we believe is an MI5 operative. And we, our experience with these people shows us that we should have had nothing to do with them. We disassociate from them publicly now. Which is quite overdue. We were, uh, until we had hard evidence, we were um, They're reluctant to reluctant release, to release it. We wanted to give them a chance. But, but then, uh, but we were on the verge of making this announcement uh, for quite a few times now. Yeah. Um, we, as I said previously, we, put, we hoped in vain that they would seek, that they would, that they would um, take the opportunity to step away from the case. They have them. And they continue with their tavis speak and their attempted handling of the case. None of them have said anything. You know, you're either being exposed or, or you're on board trying to fight the truth now. Absolutely, you know. The separation of the wheat from the chaff. The people, such a clumsy car, um, the people are neither evil nor foolish. They're neither evil nor foolish, and the public are seeing right through transparent. <laughs> yes. So. Few more people would be exposed before before this before this is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, look, thank you once more. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to share this information with your with your viewers. Guidance two 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 two. Well, thank you for your support and um, thank you for everybody else. We very much appreciate what you're doing for the children. You're a legend. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. Uh, thank you, Abraham. I um, appreciate you know, that I can try and do something, and I hope everyone else tries what they can do as well. Don't just wait for Belinda and Bill and Brian to be doing it for you. Yeah, hi. Should and who do you work for? Should I work for myself? For yourself? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why are you asking me? So you definitely, if you say that you are working for yourself, so yeah. I just want to uh, to know if I seen your videos uh, or not. So yeah, yeah, that's why I'm asking. You, you've right? seen them. I've seen it. Yes. Yeah. And what is your nickname? My nickname. Yeah. Two 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 two. Okay. It's me in the court again. Can't talk, Mackenzie friend. Put out of you guys. No, I'm subscribed subscribed on your YouTube anyway. Hello mate, how you doing? You left your number via Twitter. Ah! Guidance! Yeah. He was the one that told me about you. He said, yeah, Guidance. Guidance 222, Cold 222. And I'm like, I'm writing these things down. And I'm sort of like, yeah, you know what I mean? And I just, I, look, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a handle on these bastards. Yeah. And um, I think if you do an interview, then whatever he says to me, I'm just going to come out with it. It's best to hold it back. Just to see what the enemy is dealing with. Yeah. Are there enemy? What do you think of today, Paul? Well, you know what? <sighs> history, mate. To me, it might seem something silly to someone, you know, it's something little, but it's history. Because I used to come down here 2000. Right. Right? And I used to interact with a lot of Muslims down here. Uh -huh. A lot of them are inside now. A lot of them are saying people, boy, yeah, that boy there, I used to talk to him, man, he's locked up now for such and such. Uh, you know his um his moving etc. That um, I may do another video. You know his um his moving etc. That um, I may do another video. 26 of the first 2015. This is like six or seven months later. All right, pick up it. Pick up it. This is six or seven months later. Brian sectioned under the mental health act, and E17 band members dislike him. And then at the bottom there, breaking, failed E17 pop star, Brian Harvey proves 
oh, I don't know where the rest of it says. Oh, I've got the rest of it somewhere. But it's the Brian had sex in a swimming pool with a man, you know. <laughs> Would right. you make it that, Ed? Yeah, but... but the thing is, his puddy don't mind <sighs> his account being copied as long as it's having a pop at me. Yeah, it seems the way it is, brother. You know what I mean? There's and why ain't he got a problem with Tom Carhill? Because on that recording of him, he says, um... Um... That Tom Carhill called him a pedo and a pedophile yeah, protector. Yeah, yeah, and Jewish got, pedophile. Yeah, Jewish, Jewish pedophile. pedo mafia yeah. and all that stuff. But Tom Carhill's account has never been taken down. Twitter or YouTube. Neither of them. Never. Never been taken yeah. down. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? And Puddick says, it, you know, it, it's for, he can call me whatever he wants. He can call me a C-U-N-T. Mm. He's done that, he says on the recording with Bill Maloney in the background. Yeah, yeah. With him, right? Mm -hmm. And um, he goes, he can call me anything he wants. That's fine. But he can't call me a pedophile. <sighs> Well, I haven't called him a paedophile, mm. and, I mean, I've, I've not really fucking called him anything, right? Not really. All I've done, really, is defend myself, because this guy has had it in for me, because I've caught you out, you fucking tried to entrap me. Yep. Right? You tried to entrap me, walked me into a story that was going out in the Express newspaper with Andrew Ash, and fucking Kellaway's working now. And if that ain't bad enough, Andrew Ash comes out with Richard Mallett's name. Or says yes to it, at least, like him abusing him. I mean, uh, Ian Puddick is linked to Neil Wallace. I've got tweets up there where Ian Puddick says, <coughs> um, Murdoch hates a certain person. I can't remember who it was. I know, because I was personally told. Mm -hmm. I've also got tweets where Ian Puddick says he spoke to the commissioner. So, he so a dick. obviously, look, Puddick's in the know, right? We know that. Mm. So, we was having a chat earlier, and I said to Brian, it's possible they're going to try to get this trial as a closed trial. Closed court case. Pud, closed, closed court case, because Puddick's been down that road before, mm. right? Now, obviously, if it's behind closed doors and Puddick knows certain people, it's a done deal, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if it's um, trial by jury. Was even put up, I know magistrates. Yeah. I know uh, judges. The judge. I'll read Janet yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. How do you know a judge? I'll read the Greville Janet case. So, who is, is this not, guy? Not a pedophile case. Who is, is this guy? Because if you ain't got enough to put up with, you know what I mean? You've also got online trolls yeah. trying to discredit you. Now, I'm thinking, who are these people? And they love to use question marks. Who is guidance? Two, 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 two. I don't know. And who's he guiding? Because he's recorded you. Yeah, he's recorded me with a lot of editing in it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. said to me, bloody hell, he's done, he's done some editing there. Right? I, wonder, I don't know. I don't know. Why? I who's, think he's trying, who's to copy, he guiding? he's trying to copy me recording Yeah, people. because you started But what is this guy's problem? Because guidance, right, if you're out there and you're watching, yeah, um, if you've seen all my evidence, right, online, and you're still against me, then you must be on the other, you must be on Wedge's side, you must be on Puddick's side, you must be on, on Bill Maloney's side, you must be, because what is your problem? What, what is it, what are you looking for? What are you trying to find? Because mm -hmm. clearly, if you're not on my side with the amount of fucking evidence that I'm putting out there, and it's like you're trying to gun for me, well, that just fits in with the other people that are trying to gun mm -hmm. for me it, at the it minute. It seems to like, wind them up that I actually mentioned this Hampstead case because for some reason I'm not stepping on his love child or what? I mean, what, what is what is this? What is this big deal that I already told you that um, I've got this guy's number, right? You swayed that to the side because I got your own things to deal with at the minute, and then obviously you went online and said you wanted to talk to this guy. You decided to do it your way. You ain't got to go through me all the time. No. You know what I mean? I'm not his god. No. I mean, what's the problem? It's a it's just to hold it back. Just to see what the enemy is dealing with. Yeah, so so let's make it clear right now. Let's make it clear right now, right? I, I see what your game is, yeah? I see the way that certain people are trying to paint up Eddie. You're trying to take him Who's down. Lady Sparkle? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, Lady Sparkle, these people, people are telling me, watch this woman. Listen, I'll tell you what the like, truth I don't know, who are is. these They're trying people? to take you down some right wing. Yeah, right wing. Right wing whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. that means. Whatever that means, That's yeah. some right wing mm. avenue. Mm. So then what they want to do is say, Chicken oh. Um, Red Pill Phil and Eddie are like these right wing people mm. and they're attached to Brian so yeah. Brian must be right wing right and it's, right. Another avenue it's another avenue to divert away from let's face it phone hacking Murdoch yeah. Murdoch's mm. the one in the background this Puddick thing look he knows all these people he knows Neil Wallace right Puddick don't forget Puddick funded the trip to go and film Andrew Ash mm. who was going to name my phone hacking solicitor who I just caught Aiden Kellaway's statement that doesn't matter. And, and Andrew was made to say by Bill Maloney, funded by Ian Puddy, my phone hacking solicitor's name. But that doesn't matter because you're still shooting, yeah.
I'm just a show, yeah. I'm just a show, bro. Fucking show. Is that the name word? Is that the name word? Now it's a show. Everyone's a show. Is there anyone who's not a show? Everybody. Everybody. Everyone. Everyone's a show. There's everyone, no one left. Everyone on the show. There's no one left. It's just a game. It's just a game. So, what, what's well, shit going on like that? We ain't never going to get anywhere. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But that's the fucking idea, which well, is why they do way. it. You're a shield. This one's a shield. That one's yeah, a shield. Yeah. Listen, if you don't come with evidence and you're so sure about saying, then maybe you're a shield. Yeah, but when you got the fucking paperwork and the evidence and the, and the audio recordings and the fucking video evidence uh, and, 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 and your audio recordings are not edited. Not they, they're not edited. Them. No, I mean, no, some of them are excerpts. excerpts out of, yes, out yes, of, yes. But clearly, mate, editing, some of them conversations cuts. are fucking six hours long. Mm. Unless you want to sit there mm. and hear the old six hours, I'll yeah, gladly yeah, yeah, play them to you. Yeah. I'll, I'll gladly yeah. play them to a fucking jury. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you can yeah. hear the whole thing if you want. Why edit? Why why edit a, a phone conversation which is only a couple of minutes and little chit chat? Well, I don't chop, get what is his what, uh, what, what is, is his angle? I don't know. I think why he, I think he just like putting question marks in videos, sort of like for the sake of it and getting involved with videos like that, anti gang. But I mean, who is that guy? I don't know. I've not paid I mean, enough. I don't know. I've not paid enough it's attention. No, no, why? To because I just try and stay away from it. That's why I delete the comments because I think you saying. know what? Well, fuck you. You ain't right. taking me. Don't right. me. Give me right. something Absolutely. else to think about. Right. Listen, while I'm Ryan, doing what I'm like doing. Like we said from day dot. Right. At the end of the day, I always give you your space. You make your own decisions, my friend. End of story. That's right. I respect a man for that. Love I'm just way. passing through. I just come the other day. I'm just passing through, and I'm like flipping off. Hey. It looks like even the truth is just can't trust. If I choose to talk to you. That's that's that me. Absolutely. You've got to fuck all to do with anyone else. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But everyone's going to have something... Well, I'll tell you what, the only people that are really going to have anything to say about it are the people that want me to fail. Mm -hmm. And the people that want me to fail are people like John Wedger, Bill Maloney, Ian Puddick. Mm -hmm. You get me? Yeah, Rupert Murdoch. Who, who, is, this, um, who is this other guy, this um, plan... Plan, what is it? What's his name again? I don't know, right? But I'll you tell you... Want to you, mention the, the uh, Yeah, yeah, Want to yeah. mention the letter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell the people. Well, I've been getting a couple of letters through lately, right, on a couple of these trolls that are, that are, that are on my case, right? So I get these anonymous letters sent to me. I've got one up there now. I can bring it over. And I, I mean, this RR Plan B, apparently his name's Christopher, right? That's as much as I'm going to say on it. Mm. But I've got his address. I've got his business company thing. Um, the name of it. Uh, where he lives. How did you get it, Brian? It comes through my door anonymously. I've got the letter over there. Let me get the letter. Yeah. Looks like someone's trying to wind up Brian Harvey. They want to I mean, wind me up. What, what are they so scared of? Listen, oh, mind you, I can to understand what they're scared of. They want to wind me up. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll show you from here, right, from a distance. Mm. You've got to see that? A, 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 yeah. a 288A a company um, document, right? Appointment of director or secretary, right? Uh, and um, this apparently is the... Plan B Geezer or yeah, yeah, Plan yeah. B, whatever his name yeah. is. Oh. Okay, evening. This is just a little video, just to show you what you can find lying around your house. Yeah. With dodgy symbolism and the bird code on it. Yeah. If you know what you're looking for. Yeah, in detail. And that's just how ridiculous it all is. You're just low level. You're not on my level. Yeah. I might not sound that intelligent to you, yeah, because I'm a northerner. But believe me, I've gained the insight, mates. Gained it. Yeah. I'm onto you lot, and you know I am. Good night. And 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 this is the thing now that's, that's getting in the way. You know, like Eddie is okay and red pill fill regardless of what you know some of these people and it's, it's the majority of people are saying wicked interviews you know what i mean but there's some people out there and that are they're more than likely trolls but they're having a pop and that and it's like look we ain't gonna get anywhere if we keep having a go at the people that are helping get the truth out and they have helped me you know regardless of of you know where they've come from or what who you think they should be supporting and all i know is for me both of them two men have helped me you know they have and um they're both two nice genuine calm people in in my book you know i've been watching some videos and and some bits by a guy called guidance 2222 and I don't know what his problem is. I mean, look, mate, if you're watching, like, you're entitled to your opinion, isn't it? But, um, you know, if I thought either of them were dodgy, 
or if I thought what I was saying was dodgy, then I wouldn't be putting myself in this position, mate. You know, and I just, I ask you, just be reasonable. You know what I mean? Just be reasonable because I ain't going to get into a shouting match with you and, and, and start fucking getting online and slagging you off. You're, you're perfectly entitled to make videos and, and, and put together what, what you want to put together. You know what I mean? Uh, so, just bear that in mind, guys, that he was one that could see them. So the first thing she done was got on her phone, which she could speak into, and said, I've got one who can see. So that's me. You can say all the comments you want, you can be as negative as you want, it don't really matter. I'll take it on board, it might even piss me off. But the bottom line is, I see you. I see you. I see your mentality. So it's all good. Oh good, I'm riding this like a, a wave. The people such a glimpse car and the people are neither evil nor foolish. They're neither evil nor foolish and the public are seeing right through transparent. <laughs> yes. So few more people would be exposed before before this before this is through. Submit. I don't know what order I'm meant to be watching your videos in but from what I've seen yeah you might have some hacking information but as far as I'm concerned I already know it was a setup and lies were told that's what you get all the time with these people another thing is this thing about your neighbour being linked to the Sydney Cook Pedophile gang, a murderous gang, but Reg Cray sending you telephone calls from prison. Well, him and his twin brother, Corden Moss, going around online was a <coughs> sex in the elite child abuse ring, child sex murder pedophile ring for the elites. Supplying them with children, like Jimmy Savile, who works at the BBC. I just see the BBC playing, you know, a big role in all this uh, media control, control of the minds, people's opinions, and uh, you know, taking people's uh, attention away from what the real problem is, which is. The slave masters in control, basically, you know. Pedophilia is like <laughs> the major thing to find out about these people. But you know, there's so many other things they do that affect people down down the line. You know, that take your pick, take your pick. You know, the system's fucked up. Ain't no good. Ain't meant to be like this. And uh, we ain't happy with paedophiles running the country, telling us what to do. And uh, your, your last video you done that you deleted, you said you ain't going after the politicians. You got some whiteboard there of them plastered all over it. Keep going on about this fucking Tom Watkins. Now, now you're going back to hacking. You know, you delete your Twitter, your YouTube's gone. I say, mate, something just don't seem right. Something don't seem right. And, uh, yeah, I gave you a chance. The more that I looked into it, the more that other people were telling me, the, the more I was noticing what other people were saying. And seen it all before, mate. Seen it all before. Like you say, I'm entitled to make my videos and you can make your videos, mate. Yeah. If you prove me wrong, you prove me wrong. You know, I hold my hands up. But from what I've seen so far, something ain't right, mate. And the way Eddie is okay has been in three different cases. Tommy Robinson, he's moved into Brian Harvey. And he's talking about the Hampstead case now. Three big issues 
in the country. And yeah, your one is a big issue, Brian. And you know why? Because of that guy, Andrew. That had all the information about the paedophile rings. And now he's a liar, yeah? And everything's just, you know, a load of lies. You can go back to what you're doing now, go back to work. Be calm and carry on. Hacking scandal now with Brian Harvey, yeah? Anyway, like I say, I hope you do change my opinion. That's what it is. We were talking before. Can you hear my voice? Trust me, the minute I hear they try to set him up, I'm down there. There was someone with it.